Hi, welcome to my uh, computer here. There was a post online saying, hey, Eric, you forgot the Slimlock themes. There was plenty of uh, well, logos from Arch Merch on our Slimlock themes. And I fixed them all and I thought, hey, why not make a tutorial for everybody? Because when you're in the process of fixing all that, I've made, of course, new ones. So we have also this one. That's a new one, the balloons. And I added as well Pi. Love the movie. All right. So that's that's a locking theme, meaning if you press super K or L, depending on the desktop, you would have this locking screen and have to type in your password again. That's it, I guess. Two. I did change this one as well. So the waves are actually real waves, not an virtual design waves and um, yes that's it so how do you do th stuff like that can you make it well let's choose something nice here so we have lots of wallpapers on desktopper.co there are uh, slash and lots of wallpapers so let's open this everything will be okay right fine now we go and check out what we like maybe a nice one as well as lock screen so you decide what image you're going to use as a locking screen. It's also a nice one. As some might, yeah, why not? It's just a tutorial. So what's open on the left side? Well, the right side, actually. Well, I've remade all these um, elements. I've remade everything, as you can see, is now, again, the logo with um, like so on this one that one well okay you get the idea so these are all different layers and i just put the one uh, with the logo on the top so this is a godlike uh, view i always say when i teach about photoshop and gimp you look from up to down and this is a plate a layer a glass a layer and everything that's underneath well it shows so your first thing you come across is a logo so you see the logo and with the eye it's closed again no logo anymore so that's the way to do it I opened up one of the backgrounds just one of them it's a PNG open it with um, GIMP and then I said look file open as layers and then navigate to your uh, logo and logo should be also a PNG then it's in a separate layer and then it's up to you to decide what um, picture we're gonna take. Let's move this one here. So we decided on this one, Hop, drag, drop, done. Now it's on the top layer, let's make it bigger. Now it's on the top here. And we see that we need to move this one to the top. So that is okay. This line is not okay. So you see that the image is uh, coming through. Might mean that the image is not big enough possible that we need to have a bigger image no no there is some space to the other side as you can see the image is big enough and you take a look and see that you don't have a border these are that's the next layer you're looking at so layer one this one layer two that one layer three that one get rid of layer three so we don't see it and now well we reposition it any way we see fit I like the yellow colors in there so I'm going to leave it like so. What do you do next? We need to export it. We are going to call it Yosemites. Okay, fine. Already an idea of the name. Let's make this so. All you have to do is check out maybe... Um, what should we take? Doesn't really matter, actually. So let's take the bunnies as basis. Ctrl C, Ctrl V. Very technical. And then rename it to Yosemite like so so now we have the bunnies with background png so now i'm gonna say file export as gonna look for the bunnies not the bunnies yosemite background overwrite the bunnies replace export done we've created our own theme so this is now the next locking screen that we'll have it's that easy and i just wanted to show you that's what i did the last 30 minutes or so to make all these um, 
themes again with our logo. All right. Enjoy making yourself new themes. It's not uh, so difficult. You, you need to require a little bit of knowledge of, of GIMP and then understand about layers and make new Slimlock themes. All right. Enjoy.